from Japan to the world. Hitachi developed its first hydraulic excavator in 1965. It was the first hydraulic excavator developed using Japan's own technologies. Since then, Hitachi has offered a series of products from minis to giants. In particular, the Hitachi ultra-large hydraulic excavators dominate the global market, maintaining the top share in this class and building a high reputation for productivity and durability. The ultra-large hydraulic excavator EX8000 developed and built using Hitachi's advanced technology and experience. This video demonstration will show you how this 800-ton class ultra-large model the first of its kind in Japan is made and assembled. The EX8000 benefits from Hitachi's Field Proven Giant series. The development concept is a perfect match for 300 ton class dump trucks working at large mines. Bucket capacity is 40 cubic meters. It can load a 300 ton class dump truck with four passes. Or load six 11 ton dump trucks with one pass. Here's a dimensional comparison. An Indian elephant weighs about 700 kilograms and is three meters tall. The EX-8000 weighs as much as 1,100 Indian elephants. Cab height is 9.9 .9 meters and maximum cutting height is 20.5 meters. The front attachment, when raised fully, would reach the top of a nine-story building. Now, let's see how the EX-8000 is produced. The EX-8000 is roughly divided into three sections the undercarriage with the travel mechanism, the upper structure incorporating the engines, hydraulics and cab, and the front attachment. Let's see how major components are assembled. This is the undercarriage. Side frames are key components of the undercarriage and incorporate drive tumblers and rollers. This is the travel reduction gear provided in the side frames. This is the main frame which is a central structure that supports the machine. The main frame, 11 meters long and weighing 50 tons, is precision machine. This is the loading bucket being welded. Next, we'll see how the machine is assembled. The side frame is now assembled. The drive tumbler is over two meters in diameter and the travel motor and lower rollers are installed inside. The assembled side frame is then placed on track links. Track links on each side are connected through 39 shoes, each weighing about 1.3 tons, so the total weight becomes 50 tons. This is the track center frame. The swing bearing is 4.5 meters in diameter and is connected to the left and right side frames. The main frame is connected to the track frame. The main frame incorporates hydraulic equipment, a fuel tank, and an oil tank. Upper track links are engaged on the top of the side frame.
Now the undercarriage is assembled. Left and right engine units are installed on the main frame. This is the left engine unit. The right engine unit is installed. Thus, the machine is assembled step by step. The boom is attached to the main frame. Its size is 9.47 meters long by about 3 meters wide. 90 millimeter thick steel plates are used, giving it a weight of about 50 tons. The counterweight is mounted at the rear of the machine. Its main part weighs 60 tons and its auxiliary part weighs 20 tons, a total of 80 tons. Finally, the bucket is attached to the arm. The bucket pin is 30 centimeters in diameter and weighs 0.5 tons. Now, assembly is completed. You are looking at the completed EX8000, one of the largest hydraulic excavators in the world. The bucket is 5.63 meters wide. Six bucket edges, each weighing 93 kilograms, are fitted to the bucket. Let's compare this with an ordinary bucket and hydraulic excavator for civil engineering work. This bucket is equivalent to 80 half cubic meter buckets, and the machine weighs as much as 65 12-ton class hydraulic excavators. Here's the operator cab. It is 9.9 .9 meters high, equivalent to a four-story building. The operator cab is arranged with advanced controls, LCD displays and monitors, so the operator can determine all operation statuses, data and conditions at a glance while sitting in the comfortable seat. The machine starts. EX8000, packed with Hitachi's advanced technologies and years of experience. Opening a new horizon in the era of ultra-large hydraulic excavators. <laughs>